Jupiter Machine Tools is entering a new era of 3D printing. The company unveiled two new mental printing centers today. Joe Habersham met with the CEO who explains how this will be a game changer for Illinois. Jupiter Machine Tools says the next generation of 3D printing is right here. They will be able to produce all sorts of complex shapes in hours with their latest metal printing machine centers. So it turns out the best time to unveil new technology is apparently when you're celebrating an anniversary. Pegasus Manufacturing Inc. moved to Galesburg 10 years ago. Yay! And their sister company, Jupiter Machine Tools, unveiled their brand new line of additive hybrid CNC machines. People are familiar with plastic printers. Well, this one prints metal of all kinds. Jupiter Machine Tools have used automated printing centers in the past and still do today, but the company's CEO, Ray Whitehead, says printing metals will be a game changer. It's important because it changes the way that we manufacture things completely. This has never been done before in this format. It, it brings a new technology to the state of Illinois, and it brings new opportunity and new jobs, and it will attract other industries to co-locate with us. They'll be able to recreate outdated pieces of logistical equipment from a tractor or airplane and build towards the future with innovative surgical implants. We're able to make a part using this process with multiple types of material, meaning I can have a, a shoulder implant part with titanium and I can apply copper in this printing process to reduce medical uh, infections. This will open new doors for Jupiter Machine Tools. And they're excited to take the next step with you. We can do manufacturing things that have never been done before. And at the same time, we're able to, for the community and the region, create jobs we've never had before. In Galesburg, Joe Habersham, WQAD News 8. And the veteran-owned company says this new printing method would help cut down production costs and material waste, and they are committed to building these new machines in the U.S.